Sakamoto Days, a story about a retired assassin trying to live a normal life in an effort to put his past of violence behind him. Sakamoto was one of if not the strongest assassin of his generation. However, beside him stood other assassins of his caliber. These people are referred to as the Order Members. The oldest and most experienced member being Takamura. Takamura is such a monster that even the other Order members treated him like he was an anomaly. No one could control him. It is even stated that no one has ever survived a single fight with this man. That's how powerful he is. Oh, until we met Gaku. Gaku, a random assassin that just happened to be the best friend of the main villain. He also just happens to be one of the coolest and coldest characters in the entire manga. He is one of the strongest assassins in the entire series, easily. He's an absolute beast and one of my favorite characters. Despite Gaku's frame, his fighting style is all about power, power, and more power. Usually assassins are like sneaky fighters that use weapons such as knives and guns to stealthily kill their opponents. Well, not Gaku. Gaku will straight up punch you so hard that he guts you in the process. His primary weapon for crying out loud is a customizable mace. Using his raw strength, he absolutely crushes and batters any fighter that's unfortunate enough to cross his path legitimately hitting grown men across buildings like he's playing cricket. Nasty work. So Gaku is able to cause some of the most destruction that we've ever seen from a single assassin. After clearing out the entire JAA, he runs into the most dangerous assassin we see in the series so far. As I said before, Takamura. <laughs> So Takamura, <laughs> yikes, uh, Takamura was able to cut through a little skyscraper like it was a butter my friends. Note that Gaku doesn't know the order members, nor does he know who Takamura is. All Gaku does is stay inside all day, mess around, play video games and sleep, that's it. He doesn't know any of these guys. So when Gaku saw Takamura, he could tell that he was strong, but he didn't know how strong. <laughs> and he legitimately almost died for it in one hit. Gaku was somewhat able to partially dodge a slash from Takamura, losing three fingers and his ear in the process though. Gaku decided that it's better just legitimately run away, <laughs> which is actually like the funniest thing ever because it actually makes sense, right? So Gaku runs away from Takamura. Takamura is chasing him down, by the way. Gaku, like he kicks through the wall finding Sakamoto and Uzuki, right? And Gaku sees Izuki and says, bro, nobody told me about this old guy. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> so Takamura like fatally wounds Uzuki's like friend called Uda. And Gaku takes this opening to once again try to attack Takamura. But bro slices off his entire arm, bro. Just for Gaku to say, I don't need this, then proceeds to kick the arm at Takamura, breaking Takamura's sword in the process. Huh? Bro, what? What do you mean you don't need this? He legitimately cut off your entire arm and you just kicked it at him. Like, what are we, what am I looking at? <laughs> this is crazy. Like, dude, this is your arm. What kind of demonic energy must a man be on to have his entire arm sliced off just to say, okay, and? <laughs> nah, but we, we gotta get him out of here for real. Yeah, well, Gaku is a monster, man. I, I love this character. He Gaku vs. Takamura isn't even really a fight. It's more of an exchange between two top tiers. But it's like, bro, it is so fire and it is so hype. Like, this fight has so much love and personality written into it. Like, I love Gaku, man. I wish in the future we get to see Gaku fight at full power against, like, another formidable opponent. Because Bo is easily on the level of the Order members, bro. Like, he deserves a lot more respect than he actually gets. Same nigga breaking down hoes left and right. Yo, I 
was counting up him on a private flight. Yeah. I just chrome on my body like a medieval knight. Mm. I was fucking up a sack on that purple sprite. Yeah. All my bitches beneficial, even tow the pistol. Even blow it like a whistle, lie to officials. Yeah. I'll drip you down in crystals if I know you're real. Yeah. How you geeking out your body off a of pink?